Hi, this is JT with RMUS. I'm going to show you the optical gas camera that we have for the M350 and 300 series. Uh, the camera is made by Aereo OGI and what is unique about this is not only the camera itself uh, but also the software that comes along with it. So the software allows for easy capture of the leak as well as the reporting and that's been one of the biggest issues we've had over the years is a simple way to uh, provide the data that comes off of the camera. So what we have uh, here is the uh, Sierra Olympia Ventus Core, which is a uh, 640 by 512 uh, mid-wave infrared camera. The sensor is cooling down right now to almost 200 degrees below zero, so it takes a little bit to uh, cool off before you can fly. We're going to wait for that and we'll do a flight demonstration and show you how easy it is to capture the imagery. Uh, you're able to see a number of uh, gases including methane, propane, butane, and a number of others. So that's a quick overview of the system. Now we'll put it up in the air and show you the user interface. Okay, so now we have the drone in the air and we're taking a look at the leak. Uh, it's very simple to get the user interface here. You just click on the PSDK. So uh, there's a number of settings here. The first thing you want to do is hit record so you're actually recording. And this will record the full duration of the flight. So even if you're flying and don't notice a leak, uh, it's going to record everything so you can go back and look at it. The nice piece of the Aerial GI software is this capture button. So when I hit the capture button here, it will nuke the sensor very quickly, the flat, flat field correction, uh, and then gives you a nice crisp image where you could see the leak coming off here. So uh, we'll show you this when we're back in the studio, but it's going to make it much easier to do the reporting because we're able to capture these, uh, these leaks that we're seeing out in the field, and this will cut everything very short so we can put these into our reports. Right now we're using the uh, gem mode, which uh, you can adjust the sensitivity pretty easy here. And you'll notice uh, what the gem mode is doing is it's taking the last three frames of the video and turning anything moving a green color. And that's what you're seeing here is the green. As I turn up the sensitivity here, you'll start to notice some of the uh, areas in the background that are blowing in the wind are turning green. Um, so that's showing movement, but you can clearly see the gas and you can always uh, adjust the sensitivity of the gem mode down. Um, I'm going to turn the gem mode off and you can see right now it's a little hard to see the gas movement. Uh, one of the nice features is you can invert the picture and go from uh, white hot over to the black hot feature and sometimes uh, that's easier to switch over to see the, uh, the leak depending on uh, which setting you have. So I think this setting with the, uh, what we have right now where you can see the white tank here is a little bit better and then obviously when you turn on the gem mode that's going to uh, really enhance uh, the leak. So that once again, there it is. I can hit the capture button and I'm able to capture uh, the leak right now. And so these are taking about five second videos and it's going to make it much easier, as I mentioned in the reporting process, that all these videos that we're capturing are uh, segmented so we can see where the leaks are. Also, as I mentioned, we're recording the entire flight, so um, we can go back if we missed anything and look at that video later. So now we've done the flight and captured the data in the field, we can process the data. The software does require a Windows PC. After inserting the SD card, we launch the software. Then browse the file we'd like to import and select the location to save the report to. After that, the software creates individual files called incidents and creates a report of leak incidents. When you select a file, you get a quick video clip of the detected leak as well as the geotagged coordinates and a timestamp of the location of the leak. One of the nice features of this is the report can be emailed with all of the data and it can be exported to an LDAR system directly. As you can see, this is a very simple method for capturing and exporting optical gas data. For more information about this solution, contact the team at RMUS for details.